Good day everyone, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're having a great day. In the previous video we set it up we set up our basic project for virtual reality. We looked at some of the settings that you had to make sure you had active like the VR play mode and then we also looked at the basic controller uh, that's given to you when you create the project. So today we are actually going to be making our own controller. This is just the basic setup of the controller. Um, it's going to be a long series of um, videos that's going more in depth of each mechanic in the um, each mechanic that you can add to your own player controller. But today we're just going to be setting up the basics. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to call it Blueprints. Inside the file I'm going to make a new folder called Player. And inside the folder we are going to make a Blueprint class. So a lot of people would think when it comes to VR you're going to make a character controller um, or a normal character like you would do in VR or in PC games but we're actually going to be making a pond but before we're going to do that we're just going to make a custom game mode and I'm just going to call it GM underscore VR and then we are going to create another blueprint class and we're going to make it a pawn and it's going to call it VR player I'm going to save I'm going to open up the virtual controller and the only thing that we're going to be changing here is going to be the player controller uh, default pawn class I'm just going to change that to VR player that's all that you have to change in the player controller to actually assign it go to your settings and world settings and the window will pop up under game mode we're just going to replace it with our custom game mode that we just created. I'm going to close game mode and we're going to open our VR player. As you can see there's nothing in the pawn uh, uh, blueprint. So the first thing that we're going to be creating is the scene, scene object and we're just going to call it root under root we're going to bring in a camera a camera and I'm just going to leave it at camera the last two objects that we're going to be creating is a motion controller this is going to be the right ah. the right motion controller remember to take it it shouldn't be a child of anything except for the root object and again select the root and add another motion controller and this is going to be the left hand when it's set up to actually assign it to the right hand you'll go all the way going to select the left motion controller going to go all the way down to motion controller on the details and make sure it's on left and then on the right motion controller again all the way down to motion controller and we're just going to change that to right motion controller I'm just going to change 
change the location of both of them just by a bit. But at the moment we have the motion controllers there but we can't actually see them because there's no um, objects that can be identified by our eyes that can say oh my hands are there. So we're just gonna select the right motion controller and add a basic cube. I'm gonna leave it as cube for now and I'm just gonna be changing the scale of it to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 on all axis. Make sure that it's completely zeroed out. Gonna select the left motion controller, add a cube there as well, and again I'm just gonna make it point, point 0.1 on all scales and zero out the location. All that complete, gonna save and then we're just gonna be deleting the controller that's in the scene and we're gonna add our controller and the last thing that we'll have to do is you go to eventcraft at the moment we're not gonna be using anything else set target or origin and that's it that is our controller now before you actually press play select your uh, player character go to details and remember to actually auto uh, auto auto poses player just remember to actually assign it to player zero otherwise you're going to be spawning all the way up here instead of actually spawning where your player controller is so let's quickly press play and then we'll see if it works okay with my oculus on my head I'm gonna actually press play and as you can see where my controllers are is where the cubes are there's no um buttons assigned or for me to teleport around or anything like that i'm sitting down that's why my player can of my camera is so low to the floor but it will automatically the camera will um automatically assign to this height of um the camera of the room scale so if you're really close to the floor your camera is going to be really close to the floor and that's all that you needed to do for setting up your basic controller, custom controller um, that you can build upon, upon. There's not a lot of scripting involved because most of the scripts are already um, wrote in the background that will assign the camera and also the controllers to the right locations and everything like that. In the next video I'm actually going to be showing you a nice trick that you might would like to use in the future for your own project and that is to actually assign um, physics to our controllers so it, with our controllers actually stops and interacts with the world and actually have physics around, uh, behind it. But if this was a educational i'm trying to keep it as short as possible if it was in educational remember to like and if you want future content of vr development in unreal engine remember to subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video